What is it that motivates us in this sort of behavior? And yes, you already might know it, it's money. The same thing that drives anyone in life for even legitimate work. But another thing that motivates crime could also be dopamine. Let me tell you what dopamine is. Dopamine satisfies, wait, you still with me? Of course you are, we've only just started. Dopamine satisfies our natural reward system tremendously and is a chemical messenger, a type of neurotransmitter. Our body produces dopamine and our nerve system uses it to send messages between our nerve cells. Now you don't need to worry about all of that. What you do need to worry about is that dopamine plays a huge role in our mood, our feelings of reward, our motivation, our memory, our attention, regulating body movements and how we feel pleasure. Yes, you heard that right, pleasure. Dopamine doesn't give you the pleasure. Your perception and what you are doing would give you the pleasure. But dopamine plays a huge role in it. Now a fast increase of dopamine in your brain by repeated drug use, criminal behavior, gambling or even a roller coaster ride. This could be a lot for us to handle and it could increase our threshold for that kind of pleasure when repeated consistently. This can develop in you needing more to get the same high and studies have shown that drugs and alcohol can result in your body in having the ability to produce less dopamine naturally. This can then lead to leaving you emotionally low when you're sober. You begin to start feeling like you can't enjoy your life without having this in your life. But the truth is that this which you can't live without in your life has handcuffed you in believing this and is making your life now worse because now you're working hard for dopamine. When you're addicted to seeking pleasure, you're not addicted to the drug, to the criminal behavior which can lead to money or gambling itself. You're addicted to the dopamine release. This is why some people are addicted to buying high-end priced items and at the same time, some people are addicted to purchase low-end priced items. Depending on which group you're in, when you hear them discuss price tags, either cheap or expensive, just watch their eyes open up. Both of them are achieving pleasure and dopamine release. So have you been wasting money in buying high-end priced goods? Sadly, yes. It's never too late and you can stop wasting your money now. Doing it the right way, I don't see as a problem, but not good enough to get locked up for or being in debt. Dopamine is not visible and cannot be seen, but we can analyze it with ourselves through our thoughts and actions. These thoughts and actions can remain, but just by putting them onto another track can be beneficial as in not then impacting you financially or mentally or with the steps and the behaviors you might display. It's the dopamine that motivates us to repeat behavior. So low levels of dopamine is reducing your motivation and decreasing your enthusiasm for things that would excite most people. Give it 24 hours and analyze this. What is exciting you and what is not? When do you get excited and you become charged up or can't sleep because of what you're thinking about is so exciting in the night? Or you're going to be doing something exciting in the morning that's dopamine at its best. You can produce dopamine throughout the day with the right things too. Dopamine is a massive part of our uniquely human ability to think and plan what we desire. You might ask, how is this relevant to me? Well, think about it. How is your day when it's not planned? How are you eating through the day when it's not planned and thought about? Do you feel lost through the day? or miss meals until you plan something to eat. So you need to plan like Batman and prepare to release dopamine in the things you desire to do. So let's say your plan doesn't go well and you're not able to execute your plan as desired. For example, you rang up your best restaurant for a table for this evening, which you have been wanting to go to for the past week. 
So now they have advised you that they are fully booked. Guess what? No dopamine release. And you'll start to begin to feel low and lost, even upset. So what do you do? You initiate plan B. Maybe book another restaurant. The minute you do that, you make the next plan. The release of dopamine process has begun again. Now every step you take towards that desire, right to the end, you will release dopamine at any given point. Any of your senses experience any bit of the process of that desired. The game is played the same way with addiction. Replace the habit and still get the dopamine release to survive. Initiate plan B. We know how addiction, mental health and criminal behavior is linked externally. And this is how internally these three are related. And this could be dangerous for some. But are we able to stick to our plans in which we desire? Thank you guys for watching this video. Love, be safe and have a peaceful life. Don't be a slave to your mind. Make your mind your slave.